What's up guys? Happy Sunday. I hope everyone has enjoyed their Thanksgiving. It is the weekend following Thanksgiving and here I am trying to finish a project in my home. Um, we bought this house many, many moons ago. I was a little girl, still live in the same house. Love our home. It was a f the first home um, my mom bought when my parents split up. I was about 12 years old. I'm 30 plus now. Um, so it needs a facelift very, very badly. And the house is all to the point where we have paneling in certain areas. And um, those were the areas, those are the areas that I'm mainly focusing on, on top of doing small little projects and little renovations here and there, because it does add up financially. So it's almost picking and choosing as to what needs to get done first, uh, what needs the most attention. I mean, obviously, the things that need most attention are what makes your house run. So like your plumbing, your heating and cooling system, um, you know, electricity. So you want to make sure those things are up and running to par, um, your outlets, that they're up to date. Um, you know, you want to check your water lines, your AC and heating, especially, you know, in the winter and in the summertime. You want to make sure those things is what continues to run um, because that's really where the bulk of your money goes when you're renovating a home or doing changes in your house. Uh, everything else as far as like cabinetry work and tiling and, and painting and flooring and all of that to me is all cosmetic. Those are things that maybe you want to wait to the last minute or, you know, towards the end of doing any type of renovations in your home, in my opinion. Um, right now where we're at is in my back hallway and... Uh, again, I live in a family owned building, so it's a two flat with a finished basement and uh, these back steps were in really bad shape. Um, some drywall has been put up, but it's still a lot of paneling and I'll let you take a look at that in just a second. But that's what I'm working on. Now I will say up front, open and honest, I don't know what the heck I'm doing. I really don't, but if anybody knows me, I can be somewhat of an impatient person. And when I want something done, I want it done in, I want it done now. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. Um, I did have someone who came and started the job, but has not finished um, and has been a little inconsistent, but that's okay. I'm not upset with that. The hard part is done, which was, there was a wall here, the wall that I'm standing against. Um, it was partial paneling and partial drywall. The person I hired came and finished that. So it's all drywall now, all the way down to the steps. Um, so that is to me the hard part because I don't know anything about drywalling and caulking and spackling and sanding and all of that. So honestly, what the back porch needs right now is really just to finish painting. And there is a small section closer to the back door that leads outside that needs to be sanded down. My husband is gonna come in for that part. He knows a little more than I do, but I'm all for helping out wherever I can. So with that being said, I'm back here right now trying to start painting because he's working right now, my husband, um, so that we can get this process moving. So here we are again, guys, and I will give you a quick look as to what it looks like on the back steps, back porch, back hallway, staircase, whatever. It's the back of the house um, leading out to the back all the way outside. And I'm going to give you a quick look as to what it looks like. Again, this was a wall that was paneling. It was partial paneling and a job that had started and it was partial drywall. So the people that I contracted came and took the rest of the paneling off and made it all drywall and they made it pretty. It already has had one coat of primer, so that's why it looks so nice and clean. But if I turn around and take you to the other side, now you can see that this is paneling 
that has gotten its first coat of primer. And if we look down further, this is the rest of it. That's what it originally looks like. Um, as you can see, it is very, it is very, very dated. Um, the staircase, I mean, it's partially, I don't know, partially painted. You could see that the paint is like, sorry for the bad angling, but it's chipping away. Part of it is the old laminate floor. Um, so this is the project that I'm currently working on that I really know nothing about. I am by all means not making myself an expert. I'm not. This is a trial and error for me. I just want to get it finished. And honestly, with the times being the way they are with this pandemic going, I have talked to many of um, professionals that this is what they do for a living. And you will not believe how many different quotes I have gotten and how outrageously high in prices it is when you want someone just to come and paint. Like there is literally no patching that needs to get done back here anymore. There is no holes that need to be filled. Nothing needs to be sanded. All that has been done to get someone out here just to finish a paint job. When I tell you that I have gotten quotes from, we'll just say it's over a thousand dollars just for painting. And I'm supplying all the materials. I will go and I have gone to buy all the materials. It's crazy, which is why I've completely just opted to finishing it myself. Um, with the help of my husband, obviously, this is not something that is a one person job. If you're really trying to get it done within a certain time frame, um, I know painting and patching and all that, anything having to do with construction or renovation, I tip my hat off to you guys. I know it's a lot of work. I know it's hard. I know it's very time consuming and tiring. But don't overcharge people. I always tell people, I know I don't look that smart, but believe me, even though it's not my forte, I do educate myself before I call for quotes or look for answers. I do a little bit of digging myself. So don't try to get over on people. I know it's hard times. I know that everyone is looking for work and trying to make a buck wherever they can, but don't take advantage of people. Don't do that. Be humble. You know, pay it forward in a way. That's just, it's just my little, my opinion. You can take it with a grain of salt. Um, that's just how I feel. You know, we reap what we sow. So, sow good seeds. Please, 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 please. <laughs>
tired fast, boy. You want to get up? arm workout this is it right here i'm not gonna say i'm out of shape mm -mm. i do not claim that in jesus name Words of encouragement. You can do it. It's tiring. I'm hot. This mask is choking my face, but it's better than inhaling the fumes. But be encouraged. Just muscle through it and do it. You can do it. I promise you. Just do it. Whatever's holding you back, punch fear in the face. Have faith even if it's the size of a mustard seed and do it. So I am taking a mini break. Gotta go pick up my husband from when he drops off his work vehicle. Um, I am like literally like full of paint. There goes my lovely little manicure, but you know what? Hard work pays off guys. The manicure can get done again. These little spots of paint, I can scrub off. But when the work that you put in pays off and you see the finished product, the fruits of our labor, that is what's utmost satisfying. And that is what I'm setting my head on. The goal is to finish, finish the best way I know how, even if I don't know how, and get it done so that we could see what it looks like at the end. I don't know how long that's gonna take, like I said, I'm no expert. I don't know what the heck I'm doing. I'm going off of Google and YouTube and asking questions at our local Home Depot and Lowe's off of research my husband has done. And we're just working as a team to update our house the best way that we can, being budget friendly. Because like I said, when you start doing renos and updating your home, Man, it costs money, like long money, like money, money. <laughs> Home Depot has become our favorite play store. The older we've gotten, like Home Depot, Lowe's, Ikea, furniture stores, carpet, tiling stores, flooring, cabinetry, like all this stuff for some reason, 30 plus becomes our favorite places to be at like comment down below if you agree with me or if i'm wrong like we spend our weekends trying to find new places to venture out to in you know the chicagoland area and sur uh, surrounding suburbs <laughs> so if you know of any places 
put it in the, in the comments down below let me know um let me know if you agree like i know i'm not nuts 30 plus you know everyone has their things that they're into for some reason for my husband and i it's become you know renovating the house ever since this pandemic hit renovations but you know what let me stop talking because he's probably waiting on me and i don't even i don't need him mad i really don't i love him but not when he gets mad so uh uh i'll get back with you guys shortly when we get back home and back to it okay oh man we are back home um we have started my husband's in the front putting up a light fixture and i am back at it on the back steps painting my little life away um did some progress this section over here was not painted so i've gotten pretty far uh, if you know anything about painting you know that sometimes you can't take the roller all the way down to the ground because it'll touch the floor areas or parts of the wall ceiling floor that you don't want it to touch so you have to go in with a hand brush so that takes more time but it's okay there's no rush this is not a marathon um, we're just looking to reach a goal which is the finished product and again to see what it looks like when it's done and to be proud of ourselves when we finish because we actually did the work to get it done um, so that's where we're at right now and this is a big back stairway hallway um, so it's gonna take a while I mean I mean if you see the ceiling goes way high I'm 5'3 I mean there's a 10 foot ladder I, I don't know this weirdo ladder here that I will not be getting on because I do not want to get hurt so um, areas that I cannot reach or we need to get on a ladder that's where my husband's gonna step in and take care of and that is the update so I will come back on to show you the progress as to how far I've gotten today I mean, it's late afternoon about 3 30 ish or so um in between home depot runs because we also have another project going on that we'll be starting soon so we have to buy the material for um so we'll be in and out all day today sunday i guess this week we will not have a day of rest but that's okay we will enjoy the fruits of our labor later and i'll get back to you guys bye Hey there, so we're back. We've done some progress. Got some more white on the wall. Had to paint, you know, when you're painting paneling, you gotta paint the grooves first, because if not the paint sometimes doesn't go into the grooves when you're rolling. So you actually have to take it, you actually have to take a paintbrush and paint in the grooves first, like I did here on the ceiling. looks a little funny but it works makes the job a little easier so I'm gonna continue painting probably just finish off this section this wall right here and the ceiling here on this side and that'll probably be it for tonight and probably have to do this project in parts so be looking for part two of this back stairway hallway staircase whatever you want to call it um painting job renovation <sighs> mama bear is tired but i'll let you guys keep watching
hate being on a ladder. <laughs> It's not an easy task, guys. Not at all. But you know what? I'm grateful for the trials and tribulations and the learning experience. So we learn trial and error. Sometimes that's the only way to actually um, gain experience and things that we don't know about sometimes as simple as painting for some people may be challenging for others so here we are learning and growing as we should and you're never too old to learn something new never ever ever so don't forget that um with that being said i think i'm gonna end today's video here I'm gonna finish up. Really, there's not much. I have to clear some stuff that's on this back stoop here so that I can move over. So I can move over and do this side of the ceiling. So I gotta take some of the stuff back here out and continue this project tomorrow. On that note, love, peace, and Jesus sprinkles. Mm -hmm.